solve this logarithmic equation, first of all notice that the, the log bases are all the same. So my objective is to get the log. I want to get log base b of something equals the log base b of something else so that I can just set this equal to this and then solve it algebraically and that's exactly what I'm going to do that's already good this is a subtraction problem and how can I combine or how can I condense this it's 8 minus 2x all over x minus 4 that's how I condense it now I can there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either think of exponentiating both sides, like raising both sides to the B and then just canceling them. I just call it the duh rule. Duh. If the log of B of something equals log base B of something else, those two somethings have to be equal to each other. So let's set them equal to each other. Now you'll notice that this right here factors into, if I take a 2 out, I get 4 minus x and x minus 4, and I'll show you another trick. If you have 4 minus x and x minus 4, you can flip this. Think about what x minus 4 equals. If I, if I multiply through by negative 1, the two signs change. So if you see these things like this, where they're the same numbers but the negatives are switched, you can factor out a negative 1 in other words, you can cancel these, and a negative 1 stays behind. So there's my answer. X, minus, x plus 2 equals negative 2, which means x equals negative 4. Now we got to always check to make sure that it works, because sometimes it won't work. In fact, um, yeah. In this case, it doesn't work, because when I plug in negative 4 here, and here, and here, for x, I get a negative inside the argument of the x or the logarithmic. And log base b of negative 2 doesn't work. Um, sometimes when you cancel out an x, you also... Um, eliminate one possibility and that possibility would be that x if x was 4 I would have just made a mistake by dividing by 0 so x is not x can't equal 4 when you do that and also sometimes when you do that um, let me do this a different way just to show you another method because what I just showed you there might have confused a lot of people so let me show you a different method of doing this when you see this right here, you can just multiply both sides by x minus 4. So we've got x plus 2 times x minus 4 equals 8 minus 2x. Now this is a now this is a quadratic equation. And when I solve it, x squared plus 2x minus 4x minus 8 equals 8 minus 2x. So let's isolate, let's move everything over. Let's set it equal to 0 so we can factor it or use the quadratic formula. So that's negative 2, so the x squared is going to be gone, or the x term is going to be gone, and it's going to be minus 16. So x squared minus 16 equals 0, which means x equals plus or minus 4. And that's what I was just saying about how it's, what I just did, you always have to consider when you cancel out, if you cancel out something, a factor, you have to make sure that... Um, you consider if x equaled 4 because you just eliminated that option from the problem. So, in other words, what I'm saying is 4 might be the right solution. Let's see if it is. If I plug in 4 there and there and there, well, I have a problem when I plug in 4 anywhere because can I take the log base b of 0? No, I can't. So, those aren't the right solution either. So, your answer is no solution. There's no solution to that logarithmic equation up there. Let's try another one. 